Raku is an agility-based ranger hero from the Wild of Faction who specializes in both sustained and burst damage. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at his skills and abilities, his teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. Raku's ultimate ability, Acorn Cannon, is a very strong single target ability that targets the most injured enemy. It deals damage with additional damage based on the health the enemy has already lost and also stuns them for 4 seconds. And if it kills the enemy, he will continue to use it on the next weakest enemy as well. Next up we have Entangling Shot where Raku deals damage to the enemy target with the highest attack and also imprisons them for 4 seconds, meaning they can't take any actions. His next ability, Peckish, is a self buff where he eats a snack that increases his attack rating and his haste for 8 seconds. Next up we have Raku's Mark. This causes his basic attacks to additionally attack any enemies that are under control effects and also increases the damage that he deals to enemies who are being controlled. Raku's signature item Troublemaker is going to make his basic attacks that deal damage to enemies reduce their haste and it can be stacked up to three times. And once he gets to level 30 on the signature item, his normal attacks will deal additional damage equal to 15% of the enemy's current health. And finally, we have his furniture ability, Earnest Lad. At level three, this makes his normal attacks which strike enemies that are under control effects, reduce the cool time of his peckish by one second. And at level nine, if the first use of his ultimate ability fails to kill the enemy, he can use it one more time. So Raku's skill set heavily relies on his basic attacks, being able to debuff his enemies, strike multiple enemies if they're under control, and also reduce the cooldowns of his own buff. He really wants to be used in teams that have high levels of CC that can control the whole enemy team and allow him to continue hitting those enemies, dealing that extra damage based on their current health so that they can get low enough so that he can execute them with his ultimate ability. An incredibly strong partner for Raku is Ezio. Raku can deal big damage to enemies based on their current health to get them low, and then Ezio can take over with his execution and kill those enemies once they drop below the threshold. Ezio is a dimensional and you can obtain him from the Garrison Mercenary feature, and he will go really well in any team that Raku is in. However, in today's video, we're going to take a look at a team that utilizes only heroes from the core four factions, and that team is going to consist of Rowan, Brutus, Tassie, Pippa, and Raku. Tassie and Pippa bring a lot of control to the team with them both sharing the ultimate that is going to sleep the entire enemy team. And obviously, whenever any enemy is controlled, Raku's basic attacks will be able to target them and deal damage equal to 15% of their current health. So control is a primary objective. We also have Pippo who can teleport enemies onto other enemies and stun them. And then we have Rowan in that front row who's going to be able to use his ultimate to not only gain our team energy and attack, but also stun the enemy team. And in that final slot, it's a very flexible slot with what you want to bring. We are bringing Brutus just to have that protection for the Raku. Brutus has his invincibility he also has his rule, which means enemies can't dodge, but also increases the damage that they take, making him not only defensive, but also offensive in a sense for the team. The main objective for the team is to control the enemy team as much as possible, allowing Raku's basic attacks to deal that big 15% of current health damage until they get low enough where he can use his ultimate and execute them. For artifacts, Raku really appreciates the extra haste provided by Jura's Eye. However, he can also make good use of something like the Verdant Longbow, allowing him to deal that extra damage with his quite frequent basic attacks. Now that we understand how Raku works, the question is how much do we want to invest in him? For his signature item, 30 is pretty much mandatory, allowing him to deal that extra damage based on the enemy's current health. Without this, he won't be bringing enough damage to the team. And for his furniture, 3 is a fantastic point to settle at, allowing him to reduce those cooldowns and keep his buff active. As for level 9 furniture, if you're using an Ezio in your team, it's really not required because Ezio is going to be doing the executing, not Raku. Raku is just there to get the enemies low. And for other teams, it's still not necessary. It's a nice little buff to have just in case. But if the team is functioning properly, you should be able to control the team out long enough to get around to another set of ultimates. So three is really nice, but level nine is really not necessary. 
So that is going to be it for Raku, a crazy wilder hero who deals some really heavy sustained damage with burst capacity from his ultimate. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.